Welcome, one and all, to the AAMI Warriors Final, promoted by the RGMMC Group and AAMI Motorsport. The pinnacle event in the X30 karting calendar, bringing together the top AAMI racing drivers from around the world. And we're racing on a different circuit in 2023, the Catadromo Algarve at Portimao in Portugal, just across the street from where Lewis Hamilton became a seven-time Formula One world champion. This is effectively the X30 karting Olympics. Drivers are selected to race here by finishing in the top three of their national and regional competitions. To race here, you have to be one of the very best at your craft. And with over 350 drivers from 41 nations across five continents in 76 races over four days, the drivers will never be tested harder than here. There are four competitive classes, Mini for drivers aged 9 to 12, Junior for competitors aged 12 to 14, Senior for racers over the age of 14, and a separate class for Masters, who are over 30 years old. Whilst there is no World Championship for AMI X30, as far as the drivers are concerned, this is effectively that accolade. If you win the IWF, you are the best AMI X30 racer in the world. So at the end of this week, four racers out of almost 400 can say they are the ultimate winner of 2023. The X30 Masters class heading out onto the circuit for their first final of the day. Francois Pedier, who has dominated the course of this weekend with pole in qualifying, two qualifying heat wins, a third, and of course winning that pre-final earlier on today. He starts this one on pole position. Victor Urberg, who starts alongside on this one as well, has also had a very interesting weekend. Second in qualifying, a fourth in his first race, and two qualifying heat wins as well. He certainly had a good run in his pre-final as well. Shane Day and Guillaume Barbadon, who start this one on the second row of the grid as well. Keep an eye on these two drivers because they themselves have had very interesting days. For Daly, it was third in qualifying for Barbadon. It was eighth, but they found themselves on the second row of the grid and a brilliant start to this one. X30 Masters, green flag is go, and it's a shaky start from the outside row, and Victor Erberg slots into third place. The rest of the field, the inside line, gets away well. Pettier and Shane Daly, first and second, as they whiz down in towards turn number three for the first time, right round the outside there. Who on earth was that? That could have been uh, Jim Ringelberg. It might have been. It could have been Thierry Del Rey either. But it's a brilliant start from the entire field as they make their way through. You can see oh. there Guillaume ba uh, Babarin running a little bit wide there and getting back on. And a cut going very slow. It's the treble four it's going Armstrong. slow. Oh, and off the road. That's the 421 that has gone in. That's Gabriel Zucchella, the sole Argentine in the entire week of competition. And straight to the lead goes Victor Erberg not to, uh, denying Francois Pellier a chance to break away from the rest of the field. Shane Daly right there in third place has joined for some fun as well. As we watch the fourth place battle up the inside, that's Burier and Daly both getting the run on Oberg. And we need to watch for Barrios, Velo, Norris and Delray because they're having a terrific scrap as well. Here's Shane Daly and Victor Oberg. They both get the run on Francois Burier. Five laps done, 15 to go. And the Irishman hits the front of this Master X30 final for the first time, but there's a long way still to go. Shane Daly is about to lose the lead here to Victor Oberg, who goes through on the inside, swings through in the Falcon and moves back into the lead of this race as the competitors continue to duel forward. But a terrific squabble as Victor, oh, and that's a retirement there for Mathieu Bourdon. So Mathieu Bourdon, the man in black, has uh, crashed out of the race, unfortunately. Not sure if he was assisted or whether that was on his own. Up the inside, that is Francois Burier trying to get back through on Shane Daly. Not going to happen. And up the inside instead comes John Norris. That's how important it's been for the flow of the race battle. As going very slowly and facing the wrong way at turn 16, that's Tommy Nordvang. So the driver from Norway, unfortunately, sits right to the back of the field and he's just going to bring it into Park Ferme. What a shame for him. Here we go, Daly and Norris are going to make their bid now. One and two, the two Irish racers having a fantastic performance here. And the Master X30 battle continues with an Irishman in first and an Irishman in second. Look at them go as they now change with the lead. John Norris to the inside and a textbook overtake there. But Shane Daly fights back and they go wheel to wheel. Victor Urberg tries to get down the inside. Victor Roberg is going to make the move on the inside of Daly. In a second place goes the Swede. That breaks things up a bit. And now for the move on the inside of Burier comes Johan Velo. Can he finish it? No, he can't. 
down the inside. Change for the lead and change for second. No change for third. It's now Victor Erberg and Shane Daly, but Daly gets the double and goes down the inside through three, and he moves up into the race lead now. And here comes Francois. Francois to the inside and gets it done on John Norris. John Norris down to uh, fourth place now, and it's going to be under pressure. 13 laps completed, seven to go. Oberg's going to dive up the inside and get the lead again. Oh. Is there enough of a gap for Burier to stick his oh. nose in? He's trying his best to get there. He has done so, Norris has done so as well. And so too is Guillaume Barberin. That's nightmarish for Shane Daly and so too does Johan Velo. It's going to be a really tricky opportunity for him to come back from seventh. Big lunge from Norris, dives in on the inside of Burier and John Norris gets in a second position. He is still right there, and if anything, he's lining up a move here in towards turn number eight, and he does line up a move. Oh, down the inside, contact. he makes contact, and John Norris and Francois Pellier, two of the favourites going into this final, are out at the side of the track. Francois Pellier gets going again, but for John Norris, his final is over. What a disaster. You can see that Norris is dialing up the move. Purier is going for the overtake. Norris is trying to have a think about Oberg, but look, Purier slides Just into the rear wheel of John Norris. Look at it again, and you can see... There is a direction change there for John Norris, but he backs out of it and he commits to the corner. But Curier hasn't turned in He's yet. not turned in. That's very strange. So this is a big chance for Barberin. He's got to go defensive. I think he knows. It's game over for the win. Daly gets up alongside Velo. He has to back out of it. Can he get on the switcheroo to get back alongside him again? It's going to be tricky. Oh. Velo, Daly, and Ringelberg rub hands. Ringelberg dives in on Daly. It's not going to work. Victor Norberg wins the Master X30 race. He is the Miami Warrior in Master X30. The Super Swede has done it in style. In fifth position, once again, round of applause for Gary Edwards. Finishing in fourth position, Shane Daly. On the first step on the podium, Johan Villo. And in second place from France, please give it up for Guillaume Barbarin. And our new winner of the IMA Warriors final in the Masterclass, Victor Oberg! Yeah, it feels amazing. It was a really tough race. But like I said before, speed has been amazing all weekend through. And yeah, I'm just so happy. I'm thankful. A big thank you for, from the whole De Bruyne family giving me this opportunity. My dad, mechanicking doing great all weekend and yeah i'm just uh, really thankful and really happy fantastic will you come back next year even stronger maybe we'll see uh maybe i'll come back defending the title maybe i'll do k set again but it won't be the last race that's for sure The Mini X30 is the slowest carts that we have here, but uh, they're not slow by any stretch of the imagination. 9 to 12 years of age, 110 kilos in total, running the IAMI X30 Water Swift 60cc engine, running on the Comet K1DM tyres uh, out on circuit. The final and the week has certainly been interesting for all of our Mini X30s. Uh, but it all falls down to this one. Archie Lovett and Max Endicott who start this one on the front row of the grid. It has been a near dominant performance for Archie uh, Lovett. Certainly he thought he was going to get away with wins in nearly all of his uh, races, but it wouldn't go his way. He only qualified P14. He won three of them, second and a third uh, in the rest, but certainly he would come through in his uh, pre-final and he starts on that top spot in this final. It's Mini X30, it's the final, it's green flags and away they go. Down in towards turn number one, great start then from Archie Lovett. Holds on to the inside line, but Max Endicott holds it all the way around the outside. He's going to drop back into about third place as through goes Stig the Raider Maker and also goes through uh, Bogdan Cosma. It's a bit of Constitutional effect, three wide as one cart going a little bit wide, but everyone, crucially, gets away well and it's a clean start through turns three and four. 
and Archie Lovett is going to be a sitting target. Here we go. Endicott and Warner will skate through, and so too will Priam Bruno. He gets into third position. He tries to go for second on the way through past Warner. He has to back out of it. Down the inside goes Dick the Rainmaker, but Will Green goes through as well. But he can't quite get both of them. He only gets the one as Mason Brooks sets the fastest lap of the race. He's starting to close in on this lead group as well. Yes, there is. Stick the Rainmaker to the inside, splits the two GGM drivers in half, and Will Green tries to follow suit as well. He goes wheel to wheel with uh, Ollie Warner, but Warner holds off that inside line, and through goes Bogdan Cosma. Oliver Warner up the inside. Fourth position for Will Green and fifth position for Archie Lovett as he now tries to get through as well. Lovett is going to have to wait for his moment. He gets a little nerf from Bogdan Cosma, but now Lovett gets up the inside. Now Bogdan Cosma goes with him at the expense onto the grass of Priam Bruno, who drops back in position. And change for the lead as Sig Dredemaker goes to the inside through turn three, gets it done. And now wheel to wheel. Will Green's got to be careful Ooh. here as he gets squeezed to the inside, but he stays committed to that inside line and he holds on to it. But now Ollie Warner goes through and Warner into second. Endicott's off the track. And now who's that going into third? It's Bogdan Cosma back into P3. And look at Warner and Cosmo, they are just eating into the advantage of Stig the Rademacher. They've got the slipstream, they've got the position into first and second. Go Warner and Cosmo. Cosmo's going to go rogue and gets the lead as he goes past Oliver Warner. Yeah, great stuff there. Two in one, down and towards turn three again. The slipstream working so, so well. And uh, back to the inside goes uh, Stig the Rademacher. He moves back up into P2. So now you've got two fusion carts leading the way now. What a change a few laps can make here. But again, look at the slipstream effect. They all come back in and uh, love it to the inside. Gets past Ollie Warner. Look at the hesitation as into the battle. Oh, oh no! no, no. Oh. Archie Lovett's gone. Archie Lovett spins out of it. The man who has been the conqueror for most of the week. Archie Lovett recovers in the midfield. His chances of winning the Mini X30 are dead. Look at the squabble, and this is what happened to Archie Lovett. He just goes over the right rear wheel of Oliver Warner, and that was enough, I'm afraid, to pitch him off the road. You can see how it happens. Oh, sorry, of the fusion there of Bogdan Cosma. He just goes over the back. Now he's latched onto the back and is going for the move here, side by side with Jala Seya. Gets it done, moves up into P3. Seya not fighting it too hard. Here comes Cosma with Will Green in tow. They will both get the run on Stig the Rademacher and he manages to hold the position as long as possible. Oliver Warner's going to be right in there. Up the inside comes the Rademacher and Seya. So Green is shuffled down to the back of the queue. Oh, and up oh, no. the top, the two fusions collide. And that's enough for Stig the Rademacher to get damaged to the side pod. Cosma is going to be down in fourth position and through to the lead comes Jarlat Seya. They just got too close together. Rademacher going back for the inside. But if that side pod comes off, that's going to be a technical flag every day of the week and it looks like it's going to be Will Green that takes the lead of the race. He does. Will Green still leading this one. Water in second position. Cosmo looking for it in third place. Watch for Dan Alleman who's got an opportunity here. The spirit oh. of the ground and it's good time from Warner. That's enough for Cosmo to get through on the inside line. Alleman's going to try and squeeze him out and up and over the curves and on the grass goes Warner. That's his chance. He's gone. He's going to be absolutely mullered by the field. Alleman now in the third position trying to make his bid on Cosmo. Is there one last chance? Cosmo has a look at Green. He might get an opportunity coming off the final turn but he's got to line it up right. Fourth position for Rap now he's on the verge of the podium but can will green hold on to it he can he's glorious he's done the job will green is gonna win here at portimao will green victor in the mini x30 final at portimao will green who started this week with qualifying down in 54th position has now come through to win the Mini X30 final. What an Miami warrior Will Green has become. The driver in fifth place, Oliver Warner! John Franco from Comet Tires to present the trophy to Kasper Rajpold. The driver in third position for Spirit Racing, Dan Alleman! In second position, it is 
Bogdan Stefan Cosmo Christopher. Your new winner of the IAMA Warrior Final in Mini, Will Green! Yeah, it's incredible. It's a really big achievement. I just don't believe it. A really great achievement and the cheering is uh, coming out from the crowd. A well-deserved win to you. Talk us so quickly that final. This hasn't been certainly an easy job for you, but you nailed it in the end. Yeah, I had an okay start and just was able to get to the front quite quickly. And when I got to the front, I had to, to defend a little bit. And me and Max were able to get to get away. Wait. X30 Junior, the final is about to begin here at the Catatromo Algarve in Portimao in Portugal. And in the shade of the mountains, we are going to have a sensational battle for these 36 juniors. What an opportunity this is for the man who starts from pole position, the vice winner of Europe, Cajal Clark, is going to be there to go for the victory alongside Romeo Roussel on the front row of the starting grid for this one. And what an exciting battle it is going to be. 17 laps and 26 kilometers of racing to come. And this is the one that will determine who is going to be the latest Junior Miami Warrior. The X30 Junior Final 2023 begins in IWF of Portimao. And Russell's got a good start, but Clark's got a better one. Van der Bosch and Mackie are going to go with him as they head down towards the first corner. Is everybody going to get through turn one? Yes. Wow. What about turn two? Not too sure, but Russell has got through round the outside of Clark and got through into the lead. Look at oh, the lead that's, that that's Morgan Moore. Oh. That's Morgan Moore who's dropped to the back of the field. Oh, Morgan Moore, one of the favourites for me. Is he going to push it or is he going to stay behind in these early stages? Yet to be seen. He's going for it down the inside and gets the lead of the race. But uh, Van Pad Bosch cannot follow suit. He stays there in P3. There's some good battles all the way. Diving up the inside. There's the move from Sasha Van Pad Bosch. Gets through on Romeo Roussel. Watch for Clark as he tries to dive in up the inside of Roussel. As round the outside, Mackie gets through on Roussel as well. So brilliant work from Van Pad Bosch. Oh. Mackie and Roussel goes wide. I think there was a little bit of a tax snapper there. And again, look at that fusion train now coming through. Bartle doing his level best to deny them getting through, but nothing he could do. He has to settle back in towards P4. Now he's got Cahal Clark right behind him, but they need to team up here to battle against them. But there, there's a mutiny in the fusion tent as through goes Mackey into the race lead and gets past uh, Freddie Lloyd. So Lloyd back down into third now, and it's all starting to kick off between the fusions. He's got a warning flag, That's five it. second penalty. He takes the lead, but he's got a warning flag. That will come with a five second penalty. And he doesn't know it yet. That's only just come up. When he next comes across the line, he will see that. Oh, that's an absolute disaster for Freddie Lloyd as down the inside goes Harry Bartle on Van Pad Bosch. On the inside, Mackey gets the move, Bartle gets the move, Van Bosch gets the move, and Clark finishes off the job to shut Lloyd down from first to fifth. But a change for the lead as Bartle goes wheel to wheel with Mackey. Mackey not going to give up the spot, holds it round the outside. Superb line there for Harrison Mackey, but he leaves the door open into the next one, but he gets the switch back going in towards 13, and again he gets back into the race, and a beautiful stuff. Here's the man from Bartle, charges in. Sasha Van Bad Bosch trying to repeat it on Harrison Mackey, but Bartle will not take a second chance. He dives in on the inside of Mackey. Mackey now trying to come back at him. Can he get the switchback manoeuvre? No, because Bartle's going to park it up the inside line. Mackey's going for it straight away. Bartle trying to squeeze him at the curb. It's no good. Mackey will get through, but watch for Van Bad Bosch. He's going to try and edge them further forward. Clark is going to try and get his move on the inside line, and it's stalemate again as Mackey retakes the lead. And for Mackey, it's just a case of positioning the car beautifully, but down the inside again. Here comes Bartle, gets it done before they even get to the corner, and Van Van Bosch goes through. The bumpers hit and through, and wide goes Mackey. He's down into uh, third place now. He manages to hold off Cahal Clark, but through comes Freddie Lloyd. Freddie Lloyd's coming back at it, despite the fact that he's still got that warning flag, and Bartle's been released. Unfortunate soul in that one, up the inside of Mackey goes Lloyd, and he's going to get support from Zach Green. Buckley goes with him, so too does uh, Fred Green. Fred Green trying to get up the inside of Buckley. Buckley still hanging on here. Up the inside comes Mackey. He's oh. going to put onto the grass. It slightly goes uh, Fred Green, and that's going to be enough for Clark, Coronel, and Smith to get him round the outside. So 
Clark going to get his bid up the inside of Mackey. Coronel's got the gap on the inside to go with him. There's Romeo Roussel getting himself back into the bid at the expense of Fred Green, who loses a couple of positions. That Sasha Van Der Bosch has a warning flag as well. Well, that's the two of drivers in the top three, both of them <sighs> in race five, second time penalty. Nobody can go left, nobody can go right. And Harry Butler, contact! And that is all game over for Van Der Bosch, as he's now, and that's Mackey. No, that's it's Mackey. Mackey, he loses the side pod. And Harrison Mackey becomes the third fusion to fall by the wayside. He'll get the technical flag. Now again, he's going to get swapped, and here oh. comes Cahal Clark. Cahal Clark through on the inside. Lloyd's gone down, but again, it's Barton once again. He's uncontested here. There's the mechanical flag going out to Harrison Mackey, so he'll have to bring it into the pit lane. His race is over, and he should know his race is over because he will see that his side pod isn't there. Coronel is the latest one to get a warning flag, so Coronel is not going to get the victory in this one either. There's the technical flag. Harry Bartle comes through. He wins the Junior X30 IWF final. He is the Junior X30 warrior for 2023. Driver in fifth place with a well-deserved trophy going to Zach Green! Fourth place for Mac Barrett Racing, Tide Buckley! In third place, thank you, Filippo from IAMI, Cajal Clark! In second place, give it out for Arison Mackey! Our new winner of the IAMI Warriors final in the x Junior class, from the UK, Harry Bartle! Thank you, uh, it was a great race. Never expected to get this far. Um, I just can't say thank you to all the croc, all the grice, uh, big stew on the mechanic, uh, and my dad, my family, everyone who supported me. It's great. Senior X30, one of the most competitive karting disciplines in the world. And 20 laps and a phenomenal 30.6 kilometers will decide who is going to walk away from the Cartodromo Algarve in Portugal as the IAMI Warrior for 2023. Gus Lawrence, Ian Eichmanns, Clement Utrecht, Kalai Atkins, Louis Johnston Cool, and Marlo Bollier are going to quest for the front of the grid. Let's find out. We race for the IWF final in Senior X30. A great start for Eichmanns. He gets level with Gus Lawrence and makes a beautiful launch round the outside to take the lead. Eichmanns in front of Atkins. And down a third comes Gus Lawrence as they work their way through the turn three. Yep, in. There's a little bit of contact further oh. back and a spin. Oh, and several. several carts have gone off. That is one of the VDK drivers. And there's already a little bit of a bander between the two of them. One of the TB carts has come off further back. We've lost Calteron. We've lost Littlewood. We've lost Piravano, Platten, Schotten, and Hugo Besson. So several drivers involved in that one. There is Harry Platten. He's got a cart that's damaged at the rear. There's no way yeah. that he's going to continue. He's going to have to go up against the Euro Series winner, Kalai Atkins, and his fierce rival, Ian Eichmanns. Atkins gets the lead as he goes through on the inside of Turn 1. Gus Lawrence trying to go with him to get past the guy on the outside. Ian Eichmanns trying to keep this on the far side. He stays in front of Lawrence, and that's enough to give Marlo Bolli a third position in front of the British driver. Now switching to the outside, he tried to get the run, and now he's going to go the long way round. That's never going to work, or is it going to work? Because now Malo Bollier goes down the inside, and Eichmanns has to concede the spot. He tried the long way round. And then you've got Ian Eichmanns as well. You've got Macaulay Bishop, who is Junior X30 British Champion here this year. And you've got Gus Lawrence, who's the Senior X30 British Champion this year, all fighting for the lead spot in the IWF. Oh dear, and there's a tangle. The two cuts off. The three. That's Villa. It is. Eduardo Villa is off the track. Oh, that's three cuts off. Uh, it's the 288. That's Louis Johnson Cool. Oh, it is indeed. Oh, dear. And that's uh, Connor Jupp as well. So, Connor Jupp, the former winner of the I Games here at Portimao. McQueen having a go as oh. he tries to come around the far side. Bishop is going to be there as well. 
And you haven't just got McQueen in there, you've got McLaughlin in there. McLaughlin's up to third. Look at the way he's worked his way through. And now Lawrence tries to cut back through in front of Caden McQueen. And you've got Sam Shaw in the mix there in eighth place as well. Danny Caronini trying to catch them. Here comes Bollier, gets up alongside Atkins, oh, and he gets it. the lead. He's done it. Round the outside there before they even reach turn number two. Malo Bollier now leads the way. Atkins will have to retaliate here. Eduardo Villa also sees a warning flag for that uh, contra time that was there earlier on. McLaughlin oh, there's going to gonna the be three wide. Three wide here. McLaughlin's off the track. He gets loose. And through goes Eichmanns, who plows into the back of Bollier. And Atkins retakes the lead. You He's got good speed, he goes left, tries to get alongside, Atkins will not let it happen and it's absolutely no change again. No matter what they throw at the Jamaican up front, Kalai Atkins has held his nerve and kept his position. Right, Eichmanns is going for second. They certainly are and again he goes to the outside here, leaves the gap open there and Malapolia is going to go back down the inside so despite Eichmanns only getting a, a half real attempt at it over a lap, he's not going to get an attempt down into the slipstream moment here. But again, a huge lunge there, maybe. No, but here come round the outside. Gus Lawrence, he's looking for a podium. And no, says Eichmanns. Eichmanns says, there is no way you're going to get this move done. Out of the final corner, United Kingdom's Kali Atkins wins here in Portimao. The IWF champion in 2023 in Senior X30 goes the way of the Briton. And what a drive that is from him. Absolutely superb. In fifth place, round of applause once again for Fionn McLaughlin! In fourth place, Gus Lawrence! From Belgium, Ayan Eichmanns! In second, Malo Boyer! And finally, he's been the strongest of them all, all throughout the season, not just this week, Kalai Actins! I'm over the moon, you know, I can't thank the team enough. Uh, Grice, uh, my dad, my sponsors, you know, they've done so much for me and yeah, I'm just really happy. Um, unfortunately, I don't have um, the funding for next year, so yeah, a bit disappointed, but you know, I'm really happy I've won all these races this year and we can finish on a high. You finish on a high, that's for sure. We've seen so many drivers struggling on that track to build a gap and to prevent themselves from uh, overtaking turn number three. But yet, you managed to stay ahead and to block any resistance all over the track. Well, what was the, uh, the recipe for you today? Well, you know, just racing in the UK, you just get used to it. So, yeah, I just applied my UK racing to here and, yeah, managed to hold on. This has been an absolute pleasure to have you here for the first edition of the IAMA Warriors Final in Portugal. What a crazy week it has been. Thank you to the Orange Army. Thank you to all the person involved into the great making of that event. We will be back next year with even more drivers, I'm sure, than this year. We had over 350 competitors all throughout four days of crazy racing, and it doesn't get any better than that. From myself, Guillaume Alvarez, Jake Sanson, and Anthony Jordan, this has been our pleasure to have you here all throughout the course of those IAMA Warriors Final 2023. See you soon. Bye-bye.